Hello guys, welcome back to Weak Mix Media. If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Enjoy today's update. Hot. Hey! Nika Nikarago is the Nika Nika Crump with me home. We what I'm assuming to my one one go one go Nicaragua. Let me just at this point attire I know they feel it toxic. Make I just do this then go bed. But if you come, I just come vent, bro. Come vent. Uh, make you come then come vent because the adrenaline really dear. Nah, my can. I just say nyango pong boom. Jola will talk to me. Yo, Sheldon, what's the up? A day, Charlie. Charlie, the game there. I know the babu. Me coach in the coach no yard there. See, see, I did. Me who's the coach in the yard there? Eh, be real. Mum, fa. Eh, you bruni no bruni no at the bench. One hour, yeah. Oman is general. The end, the end. No. Mum, fa. No, mum, be coach in a utuado there. On yard there. Team scout there. Yeah. I'm going to you, my. Hey. In Dubai, just they make that sack utuado. IDM Kizito IDM You are here, you Kojo. Can you hear me? Yo. Yeah, Kizito, talk to me. Kojo, I'm, I'm very disappointed. Seriously, I am very, very disappointed. I don't know if you have monitored my, 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 my post. I even indicated I stopped watching the game. I mean, before even we went for the first half. Look, we think mm. I, I was thinking that we we're going to run them amok. Uh, it's unfortunate that yesterday I didn't even get the opportunity to join the, the space you, you 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 hosted. However, let me concentrate on today's game. I I saw the the caliber of players uh, Otuado paraded. I had hoped that at least today we're going to do better than we did before. But look, if it is what these guys, if it, the, the kind of performance we saw today is what we are going to put up um, 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 in the World Cup, and then I'm sorry to say we'll come home very early. Uh, I am not mm. a football connoisseur, and I, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. But I, as 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 lay as I am when it comes to football, I don't think they are playing better. Uh, our coaches, or yes, the technical team needs to be spoken to. I loved what Jerome Watson said about sorry Jerome Watson said yesterday about the fact that the selection is even political. If we don't depoliticize the selection of players and ensure that the right persons are encouraged to give out their best. Then I'm really sorry that we'll go for the World Cup or we'll go into the World Cup and come home very early. Let me allow others to also share their opinion on the match. But I'm very, very disappointed. Any day that you speak on this subject, I'll be here to vent out my disappointment. Kojo, thank you. Thank you very much. Caleb, I will talk to me. Kojo. Yeah, boss man. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, a verse, like I, I, I just verse because I don't close work early self. Like I don't close work, I just run self so make a calm house, can watch, you know. It, it, the for Otuado, it be like, eh. <laughs> but you win the match. Why the for no, sack? No, 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 win the match. Say, say, oh, Nifin oh. like to coach a senior national team, Nifin Sui, because you see, today the match they play. Eh, as he say, it be individual play way the boys go play. We get the talent, we get the yes, but you need a manager who would put these talents together and have them play to your pattern. We they watch English Premier League, we, we they watch Spanish La Liga, we they watch games abroad, and you see say top notch coaches when their players are on the pitch, you see say the coach way he, he, he handy handy work way to see for the pitch stop. Game a cry away, boy. Formation be any tactics be any. Yeah, boy, she boom, she boom. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, but as a modern tweet something from few hours, I don't know say if you see it, yeah, like they do do some wicked rounds, but born in my and I'm wondering why a striker of that caliber, boys, no more general patience. So be a young man, say, hey, a way you have to locate him. But a copa yeah, it be the coach because you are in charge of the team. 
I hear somebody talk say the the white guy they sit there make them make he coach. I think I they support the, that guy. Yeah, you to add on if you make we make this because you see, Chris he did not say no. The guy is far experienced than Otoado. Chris has coached teams in the Premier League. Yes, he no win any trophy, but Charlie Okompo no ni Otoado. Difference new boom. This evening, dear, yes, the game against Brazil, dear, the first half, it be foolish game where they didn't play. But this one, dear, I felt he had an opportunity to show to us, say, a bit to See the time he bring Banier then, uh, Jordan. He comes here, make, make, make them come watch plates for the pitch top or make them come, like, I didn't put it on my bed because as they come the pop top, 30 seconds, now, if you put on game, no. Coach, mm. oh, boy, friendly game to say, say, you know, be some wicked friendly match. Be a 80th minute, you still not do substitutions. So, Kojo, I can tell you that Otto Ado, then Milo Van Rivers, same, same difference in him. Mm. Difference in him because yeah. Milo Van go tell you, say, if he change players in team shape, go change. Same mm. thing, Otto Ado, they won't show, show it because even the games we play, he can't play, play on pay change. Friendly man, keke, make the boys come throw them my make we see something. Na ene basai. Oh, Charlie, eh, boss, make somebody can talk some. I mean, Thank you. Austin, I will talk to talk to talk to them. Austin. Yeah. Good evening and good evening to everybody in the space and Kojo. You see, I think that Utoado and the current group of people are getting away with things because. We've been so accustomed to bad coaches in the last couple of appointments. I think that since we brought Kwesia Pia back, we, we have failed. We've not had a proper coach and it's shown since um, Milo left in after the World Cup. The coaches we have had have not been top-notch coaches so from um the one who said that we were doing juju in camp in 2012 um that stepanovich or something who failed then kwesiapia then he's coming back then um ck and now you see we've not had any proper coach so it seems that we have accepted it that is how it is but you see we should be moving on as a country i think that for a country like ghana nobody is saying that we should go and win the world cup and the stars and the players we have available to us now right our focus should not even be about whether banier is playing whether baba is playing left i think that our focus should be like how egypt um senegal cameroon Nigeria trip managers, coaches, that we are going for this person. He is the one who will help us achieve that. So we are doing it's like every coach we are going for now is I say, Mambisa, if the person is better than CK, then it's okay. I think that it hurts me because for some of us who have followed the black stars and what they have achieved for us, when we keep having that, because this is it, I feel that if we really believe in the kind of football we want to project, right? We should be able to make it a project that um, Coach Y is very good. He will help with the development of our youth game. And he's tactically astute. So we know that if we have him in our dugout, Ghana can go to the final of the AFCON and quarter final of a World Cup. And Sheldon, you know that when you have that idea, you go in for the best. So if in that person is a hundred thousand dollar a month coach, let us go for that. Because if we don't do that, as a man be the year, we do what we are doing. Because genuinely, how many days do we have for the World Cup? If as of today, our national team coach, you have had a week of opportunity to play Brazil and Nicaragua, and you have not been able to test the team that you can take to the World Cup and the strategy you would want to play. Then we are in a fix. Does he think that we have a year? Do we have a year? We are going to the World Cup in November. October is over. And you see, 
friendly matches that you would play when the leagues go on break. This is novel, this kind of World Cup. It's never happened at this time. So I'm not sure leagues will be breaking a month even before the World Cup. And when you have that, you see that because it is a World Cup period and people have even raised it that you check the games that will be happening in the major leagues. Players will not be giving their all because it is the World Cup you are going to. You can hurt yourself. So when we decide that we will play our team, test them days before the World Cup, you think that people are going to give their all? Why are we doing what we are doing? I don't get it. Otowado before this game said he was going to give other players a chance and also... Um, uh, play different strategies. I wasn't for that. I am for start your 11 that you want to play. Others have been injured like Pate. But when Pate is not there, it is this I want to play. Start those 11. Let them get a random. Last 10 minutes or 15 minutes, they will be who be a one who will be. A whole now would be or more. A person who try or moon to be them. He did not do any of them. So what have we are really achieved with this game? Did we play this game to give minutes to Inaki Williams? Does Inaki Williams need minutes? The guy has been playing every day for his club. He is the only player who has played every minute for his club for the past, I think, five seasons or what. He doesn't need minutes. What we need is he needs to bond with the player because genuinely Inaki Williams will be starting for Ghana based on ability and players we have in camp. Unless somebody, a big striker comes up, he should be starting for us. If you are not playing him with people he'll be playing with at the World Cup, what do you expect him to do in this game? What did we want to achieve in this game? And lastly, you see, there are certain players we keep inviting and they don't play. And we have kept quiet over it. When you raise it, people think that you are doing... You see, listen... Remember that right back from Dreams FC? We kept inviting that guy. He never got a minute to play. We said we were propping him because we were having issues with our right back. Good thing. He was good at the under 20. But Sheldon, listen to this. When we were going to play in South Africa, qualifiers, and our main right back, that guy uh, from um, Reading, he got hurt. What did we do? The Dreams FC guy was in camp. He was the second right back we had. But we came to Ghana to come and bring the House of Folk captain, Fatal Mohammed, and he rather came to start that game we were going to play in South Africa. What does that tell you? It means that the guy was not part of the team. We just take him along so that people, he would have opportunity to be sold. A similar thing has happened. You have invited a free year bunny. I'm not saying a free year bunny to start or play or I'm not part of the school of thought that says local player, give him chance. I don't I think people should get their chance based on merit. But for you, for Ghana to have invited the player, different coaches to have invited that same player for over 10 games, it means that they've seen something in him. And if he is not been able to play even five to ten minutes of games against in Nicaragua. Against Brazil, we had already lost 3-0. What do we what are we going? We should not invite him again. Because then we have made it known that we don't trust him. So why do you keep inviting him for him to be wasting that slot? You see, the World Cup, eh, we don't have the chance to invite everybody. We have just a limited number of players, I think 20s. Two or 26 or something. So every position is key. If you check Brazil, right? They are playing their 11 and trying Richarlison as a center forward, thinking if we don't get Abre Jesus, if Amino is out of form, can we play Richarlison there? That is what they are doing. But for us, we are not doing that. We are playing haphazardly, putting this. And lastly, on the day are you, this is it. We took Baba Idrisu out last 15 to 20 minutes and played the day are you in midfield. Is it because the day are you has to play? Don't we have any midfielders, central midfielders we took to this two friendlies? Why are we forcing the guy to play in midfield so that you get a space in the team or what? I think we need to think about that as well. Because if we are building, it's the World Cup. If we are building a team 
a year to have corn oil, then I don't have a problem. But when we are going to the World Cup about just less than a month for preparation, and this is how we are building our team, I think that it is wrong. Not even a local team uh, will be preparing for an Af African game this way, the way we are doing. And I don't know, something must be told the managers of the Black Stars and Otoado that the honeymoon is over. We must bear our teeth to them that they should be doing things right. Don't go and win the World Cup. If we win it, fine. But don't go and disgrace us. Prepare well. But with the way we are preparing, in two of the best games we could have prepared with, a bigger game against Brazil, a less game against Minos Nicaragua, I don't think we have been able to prepare well. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Thank you. Um, and you, I bet, talk to us. Ah, uh, you. Thank you, Mr. I make us a free part time. Kwadio, I mean, my father, my papa would be. I, and she will be a comma, a year time you. I, one Kepler, and she will be a comma, me pass him, and I force him, me whom you know, and she will be a comma. Now, Kwadio, as a matter of my son, Kwadio, Black Stars, as a Black Stars, walk up, no pay in yai. Yeah. I, I, I don't think we should we should be going for this World Cup and going to disgrace ourselves. Because for the last 15 games or I don't know, 10 games, how many goals have we been able to score? And looking at this particular game, when, when you check the, 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 the football we played, you couldn't see any particular pattern of play. You couldn't see that, oh, maybe these guys are trying to string five, six, seven passes together. They are creating chance. They are doing this. It was always, we are always relying on uh, uh, individual brilliance. Say could do century one or two, you know, more shots and share. Uh, uh, Isaku will try and dribble. I don't know. I don't know what is with the players as well. Every player wants to dribble two or three players before before they, they release the ball. So honestly, this this particular black star setup, uh, honestly, media, I am I am very very disappointed, and I'm also very disappointed in the coaching staff because this coaching staff we 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 consider them, um, you know, the, the particular coaches that they, they were the messiahs, they were the ones who are going to set us apart from you know all the bad coaching uh, uh, coaches that we have appointed. We have the likes of um, Otoado, uh, what's his name, the br former Brighton coach. Um, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, George Boating. All these guys have played in Europe and then coached in, in top European teams. So you're expecting them to come with a lot of experience and come with a lot of patterns of play because, in all honesty, we don't have... I mean, our players are decent enough to be able to be creating chances and scoring. You see Inaki Williams making a lot of runs. I, I, I think I saw Asamoah also tweeting about that. Inaki Williams making a lot of good runs, but the players always have their heads down. It's a Haku Eyabako. Um, uh, 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 what's his name? The the central defensive midfielder, uh, Baba Dusu. He can't even he can't even play what a uh, fifty yard pass. It is always a five yard square passing, five yard square passing back pass. That, that is all they do. So honestly, if we don't get certain things right, and of course, right now we don't have uh, the luxury of getting all these friendlies and testing all, uh, 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 our parties of play out. So all we have is to, you know, probably when we go to camp, that is where we can work on it. But if things do not change drastically, Kwejo, I think um, we, we will probably have our worst outing uh, in the World Cup. And we are going to be looking at something very, very disgraceful. Yeah. Mm. All right. Thank you, boss. Um, AF, 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 AFTV, Belgium. Yeah, Kojo. Hi, everyone, man. Thank you for the platform. <laughs> Do you know what? I must well say, uh, start by saying that well done to the Blasters. At least they won the game. Uh, uh, and I know I've been hearing people obviously complaining about certain things. But at the same time, so if you analyze the game, the kind of positivity that we could pick up and also the kind of issues that we can pick up from the game, you know, like starting with it, uh, I'll start with the positive stuff. Licks, he wants to play the coach, or two other wants to play with the back three. And uh, with Salis, who are the back, Amate, and uh, what's his name? And uh, uh, Gideon, they're Gideon, okay, yeah. yeah, they're okay. The goalkeeper today, <laughs> you know, when he was getting to the end a few minutes ago. I don't know, he needs to kind of, because obviously there have been issues about, oh, people have been saying, oh, Joe Walker, he shouldn't be, be, he shouldn't be playing ahead of him. But if he really wants to be there, I can see his presence and the way he talks is so vocal. But at the same time, so when he get the ball, try and control it and pass it. And if you're not able to do that, then obviously the coach will go for 
to World Cup. When it comes to the pattern of the play, I know the, where we have an issues is in the middle of the park, in the midfield. There was no transition, you know, going forward. Because we know once party is out, then obviously it's always going to be an issue for every single... <clears throat> like, if you have it type of party in your team and he's out like we in Arsenal we normally as soon as he's out we normally feel we normally feel it. So it's the same thing with the blasters. When he's out, then there's obviously there's going to be a problem. So that's when the coach possibly he needs to address it. And uh, when people because I know of people on Sun on what was that? The last, it was like Friday, well, last week Friday, and I was in the studio watching the Ghana game against Brazil. And the thing is, I know that there are a few issues, party was off, then all of a sudden, the shape in which we, t- we took into the game wasn't that good. But the second half, it was a little bit, okay, we can pick that one up. Because tonight, guess what? Uh, Brazil beat Tunisia 5-1. 5-1. So that free need we considered at least if we want to compare to uh, Tunisia, then at least Ghana kind of, you know, I'm not trying to say that oh we did okay, but uh, I'm trying to justify the fact that oh, that free nil is okay, but at least we kind of you know do something in order to stop them from scoring more go- uh, more goals, and at the same time uh, we did made some few attempts, you know. So it's the midfield, which is the transition, because Inyati William, he was making the runs, and at one point I was saying, ah, what's the problem? The ball wasn't getting to him. The ball rather kind of relegated to the back, you know, from the midfield back to Amate. Amate was slow a little bit, apart from Salisu, who uh, one or two times he's always thinking of, do you know what, I need to go long and see whether I can get him as a progressive striker. So I think that's when the coach need to work on. And we know that people mentioned about uh, 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 what's his name? George Boateng and Chris Hutton and around him. But the thing is that because you two people have to remember, it's only technical ah. advisor there. It can only advise. It's up to the coach now to take it on board. And uh, Otoado, to be fair, you know, is it's still learning on the job and just looking at those stuff. So when people, we have to understand that few few months ago, we didn't have, Blaster, we didn't have any team though. We didn't have players there, you know. And that's why we lost woefully or we didn't do well in, Af- in AFCON. So this is the World Cup. Sometimes all these international matches doesn't really reflect on the performance, you know, when he got to the World Cup. So hopefully what well, we we still have to keep that positive vibe so and see that hopefully, hopefully by the time they get there, all these players that they'll be called on, you know, like uh, I, I want to see uh William uh to be kind of uh, to be calling to the team to be among the twenty three. In fact to because of, since we didn't get in Kate at least William uh to be leading our attack. You know, I want to see him. And uh we should just carry that positivity and hopefully the team would will go there and do well. This is not putting now saying uh, Oh, I don't want to support the team. Oh this guy needs to be sacked. Oh hey, this one hasn't got what he's, he's doing. Hey all these new players, they just join the team. So there's no way that they will understand the way the coach wants to play. And he himself, how long has he taken? How many games has he played so far with the team? So he's still finding himself. Look at, uh, when you look at the day, Deshaun, Deshaun has been with the team for 10 years. Uh, when you look at, uh, was in Southgate, six or seven years, and he's still struggling. In Southgate yesterday, he was even lucky because uh, <laughs> people were calling for his head already, you know. And look at the, uh, the flicks. Uh, he only took it last year. But again, to yesterday, after the game against England, people were not happy. So, hey, in Ghana, what we say, Nyambuche, let's relax a little bit and just cool down, you know, and tone ourselves down and uh, hope, you know, that the coach, all this stuff, uh, they will pick up and work on it retrospectively. And the team, you know, going to Qatar, they're going to do it. 
and we'll support them and hopefully they'll go to i mean they'll, they'll go further and we all will be happy because that's is the blasters normally bring us joy so people please now butcher your butcher have you isn't it right, right. yeah thank, thank you. you thank you boss i'm happy to talk to me all right kojo thank you thanks for the opportunity and good evening to everyone okay so for me, I, I would, I would, I've had, I've had most of my colleagues on the space, and I would say, guys, just, just try and relax. I know we are expecting the black stars to do well, but I would say lower your expectations. For some of, for some of us, we are fortunate to have information on what is going on in the camp. For me, with my personal opinion, I would say that we are not ready for the World Cup. Looking at how we are building a new team. Our focus should be on the next African Cup of Nations or the next the, the next two editions because that is when the team will be ready. We just went to Cameroon. I was I was there. I knew everything that happened. We come back in March. We appoint Otoado. We form a new squad. From March to November. Are we do we it will, it will take a miracle for us to build a, a very competitive team to go to the World Cup and then go and perform magic. It takes time. It is team building. And comparing our first game against Brazil and then that of today's game, you could say it is two different setups. Most of the, these players, they haven't played together. Let's talk about team chemistry. Let's talk about team bonding. Let's talk about even our experienced players, whether if in our last three, four games, whether if there's been some sort of consistency in the players that we have. If we look at our game today, let's ask ourselves, is it, that, is it a problem? Is it a problem? of our technical team, is it a problem of our coaches? Me, where I've noticed the problems have to, the problem have to do with the middle of the pack. As the last speaker said, if anytime Thomas Pate is not in our game, we have a problem with who is going to progress the ball or start up the, the attack from the defense to, to, to the forward. We have a problem with that. Now, who do we get to fill in, to fit, to fill in that position? Since now Thomas Pate is becoming inconsistent because of his injuries. We need to solve that problem. If we like it or not, at this juncture, Ubak Wakaso should be part of this team. Because Baba Idrisu has proven to us that he cannot be reliable going into the work. For me, the coach in, in an interview with German news outlet uh, is about, he said, he said that 70% of this squad will make the work up and then 30% is going to make some drastic decisions i'm expecting some one or two players to do what to join the squad for what if not for anything we know that still ghana is pursuing Jer jeremy Frimpon, that guy who plays for dutch under 20 and plays for ban leverkusen we're also expecting uh calum was to join the team we hoping that when we played against brazil we saw the team that played in the first half and then the team that played in the second half you understand so for me we are not ready. Comparing our squad in 206 and 2010, when you could pinpoint that like, you have a Sule Muntai, you have a Michael Eason, you have an Asamwajan, you have a John Pinto. We had some core group of players who had played for it, who had played the team for a while and they knew they knew each other very well. Can you compare that to today's team? No, it won't. It will take time before these players blend. So with these two friendly games, I think that the coach is assessing his players. And if not for anything, what we know about Coach, Coach Otuado is that nobody can predict his first 11. So we've seen two sets of teams play. Let's wait and, and play Switzerland. That will be our last international friendly. When we play Switzerland yeah. in that game, that will determine whether if we are going to the World Cup to joke or we are going to the World Cup to play. So you let's be hopeful, let's be, let's be, uh, let's be optimistic about the Black Stars. But for me, what I would say is that everybody should lower his expectation because Otuado cannot pick a team in March and then we are going to perform magic at the World Cup, looking at the size that we are going to play. So I think that that is my take. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, Jeff, Jeff J. Yeah. Um, good evening, guys. Um, thanks, Kojo Sheldon, for hosting this page. Well, first off, um, I'd like to start with the positives I chanced on during the Ghana versus the Nicaragua game. I think for me, um, I reckon Salisu, Gideon Mensah, Kofi Tre, they were all very decent. And um, Kojo Sheldon, this one there, your man, Kudus, 
yeah, yeah. Um, he was wasteful. He was wasteful, but I mean, he was yeah, still yeah. dominant. Fuck, yeah, yeah, he was still yeah. dominant. Sure, very, very, was very exceptional good. as usual. Well, I want to speak with the coach. I like what the last guy, the guy who spoke lastly before I came, he made one statement. He told, he said, "We are we are sitting already for the World Cup," and I agree with him. My take on the coaching is that the former Brighton coach Chris Hutton, that guy is our best bet if we are really taking this World Cup business serious. Otuado is not that guy. Mm. Otuado is not that guy for me personally. That's my take. You see, Otuado's leverage, together with the GFA, had been the Ghana-Nigeria two-legged qualifier. We all reckon, or we can, we can all recollect when the government, okay, the, the sports ministry, and I don't know, um, a few of the governments. I mean, um, they were really pushing that. Um, they were really forcing the Chris Hutton guy on the GFA. And they were still playing their games and all that. Oh, let's let's give it to Utuado. It will be temporary. Once he's done, he will step aside. Chris Hutton will come in. But the very moment Utuado took us, okay, we did the W over Nigeria. That was their leverage over the government. And the president, when they went to the Jubilee House or so, the president stated emphatically that he doesn't want Utuado to even leave for that one. You see, that has that has changed the whole thing. But we all could agree. It was only we all jubilated over the Nigeria qualifier that yeah, fine, he can do the work. But trust me, with the Brazil and especially with the Brazil, I mean that was that was your 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 you had quality. You were, you were coming up against quality, and you also had quality, enough quality. At least it wasn't a parity with the Brazilians, but it was a chance for you to even assess your first, I mean, team. Taking a, a look at your rooster, and yet you fumbled that. We, 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 as soon as me, I saw the, the lineup, I was like, nah. I mean, we are, we are just being trashed the first half. And it came true. They just did the job in the first half. Mm. And you come to Nicaragua. Why would you fly players like Stefan Ambrosius and uh, Jose Feidu? You claim you are trying players. You are giving, give each and every one a fair minute or a fair minute. Let them play so that you can corroborate or justify or assess them based on their performance. It was only Friday that we played against Brazil when Jiku was in. Now Jiku, I learned he picked uh, a knock or something um, yesterday also. Tariq to the same thing and Pate too. Now why don't you try considering alternative players? If your starters are not around and yet you keep playing the same you are trying to force yourself and play the same first starters or the, 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 the first players you consider them what if they are not around today we we, we are we, we are about six weeks or so to the World Cup. anything could happen anything could happen now if you don't have a chance or you like, had a chance to even try this place you ignore that if they are if they are unavailable for you what are you going to do? Are you going to say, oh, you have your first players and they are injured or they, they are unavailable, so uh, no one should blame you? No. You also had equally good players that you should have actually brought them on so that they'll justify. Then you can know you have other alternatives. That is what Brazil and their, their likes, the top teams are doing. They are not only sticking to the Neymars, the Rafinhas and co. You see, so it is, for me, it is very disappointing. I don't know what, what, what plan or what actually he, he's seen probably he has a third eye that we some of us we don't have he sees beyond things but for me it is very terrible it is simply terrible i i i i, I never expected i never saw him as such it is it has really been terrible for me because it doesn't make sense why would you f fly players in like the, the, the likes of ambrosius to say for you even try them i was i wasn't even expecting amate to even start this match mm. And in a dying or a dying minute, you bring in the die. For what? There are other players you could have brought them. Let them also justify. Give them a chance to assess, I mean, themselves. Then you know what you can do the next time. Mm. He's simply not our man. Trust me, he's simply not our man. Beyond this World Cup going into the AFCON and the subsequent tournament or whatever, he's just not our guy. His, his only leverage has been the Ghana Nigeria.
to like, get qualified. That's all. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Jeff. I'm turning on. That's all. Um. Good evening. Good evening. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, me, my own BC, why were we able to get all these top, top, top senior players into our team and still can't perform? You know, it just be like the old, old, old players now we get. Like, we really see anything. But I don't want to uh, uh, be like. I don't go appreciate what the players they do so far. At least uh Kufich, uh Salisu, uh, them then they tried my best. But you can see that the defense and the midfield, no, at least them them they meet when our expectations small, small, small. But the striking line, I don't know if everybody wants to say if he score or you know go fee score. But let's be sincere to ourselves, would you? We are, we are not ready. Okay, we are not ready. And looking at the ranking, you know, we, we did down. We did last. We be the last team we the, the rank for 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 even to be able to win the World Cup. We did down. And in fact, it's showing that yes, we are not ready. So me, my own be say right now, if we go fit change the coach, they make we see at least make we change the coach for the last match against Switzerland. They make we see say if it's either the coach that is not trying his best or it be the players. It is about uh huh. So my own be that make we change the coach. Make we just yeah, change the right. coach. You about right, thank, thank, uh, uh -huh. thank you. Pick up will talk to me. Uh, yeah. You didn't hear me? Yeah, you didn't hear me. Yeah, talk to us. Oh, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Time no day like before change them, bro. So, me, the man sent me. Ah, friendly match, you did take the match as if you did play some knockout game. Be last minute, you did do changes. You know, I figure so 60 F minutes, at least five players will come out to so you go see other players and test. Hey, Charlie. See them. Oh, yeah, I should say like for like 60 minutes for remove, produce them, make them come so, so you will see the other players. Then the defense too, you no. Know. I be mean, Sally today. We see we he can't play a good game. Amate today, like 60 minutes for few come out. Amate then bring this guy Joseph Edu or something. I will not see in performance for the team yeah. before. But he left one match there. The match to be 17th November. We are sure say we then Switzerland. He will play. Are you brothers again? Then after that, we will go World Cup. So, me, Charlie, for now, they are not giving. But I'm going to see Charlie. I'm going to see you. 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 Charlie, thanks. We'll be soon. All right, thanks. That airway guy talked to us. Oh, I'm going to see you. 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 I'm going yeah, man, Charlie. Thanks, thanks for the opportunity to kind of uh, uh, make me to uh, bring my, my 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 little one on board. You know, for me, there's a reason um, some sports are classified as as like team, like you know. So so if if football be game of a team, then obviously uh, that particular you know thing of of football is missing in our in our, in our national team. Now, why am I saying this? Most of the players. They they bring that individual thing from from their clubs and I'm surprised when they when they go to their clubs they are their, the club they play you know they, their play is quite different from when they join the national team it looks more like with the clubs they they have that chance to show everything to the world but when they get to their national teams it's more like oh say we cry a a normal mommy. Meanwhile, most of them got opportunities to play for the clubs through this uh, national, you know, tournaments are uh, yeah, but I don't know if you get me. So I don't see I don't see that kind of flow in our in our in our national team because imagine someone like Inaki making a run a run towards the 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 box to like just get a pass or pass keke for him to score. Nothing of that nature happened, you know. So so you know some of these things become so frustrating in the team that 
these guys when you call them again to come, they know will come because they feel like oh, we come self. This these are boys. know they give we the chance to really like show what we need to show. And when they go back to, the, to their clubs, they are more like the top notch guys in their clubs. For me, I feel it be two things. Either we 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 the coaches change the mindset of the players on the field, or they themselves as a technical team together with the coach use a different approach you know in 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 uh, preparing the boys for the field you see when when the players move to the field it'd be difficult for you to even communicate anything you want to communicate to them on the field it's, it's more like we chew we like you 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 know get the chance to be close to your 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 coach when, when you're on the field they only give you signs and give you instructions on the field and that's over but 80 percent of whatever whether it is losing or winning depends on what happens on the field so if we don't take that character go the field for the players to have that mindset that yo we are playing for our national team and this is the pride we have at the end of the day you can you don't have any legacy with your club you definitely have one with your country so honestly i feel like charlie there's so much we need to do with the team for me the world cup dear if we win, fine. As for winning, cry there. You know, they my head inside. But if we win, fine. If we qualify, go to the next stage. Fair enough. But I am not expecting any good performance from the team. And we need to be very, very circumspect with some of these things. If we call our players to come and play, let us give them that orientation to play as a team, and not to just come and claim them and 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 go back and that ends the story. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Derek. Yo, Sheldon. Charlie, what's uh, up? Talk to us. Charlie, I mean, this, this team, man, uh, if you give me, if you raise my blood pressure, go some levels, I'll never go understand. Hey, huh. how, see, how, you remember the, the lineups are dropped, right? It makes sense. The lineup got dropped, it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Everybody talks, it makes sense. So how the coach know they see, or if it's something for training, we, we, know, they, we know they see. Like, you have some players there that you know that these people can actually make something out of nothing. Look at Cher like this when he brought him on against Brazil. He played absolutely wonderful because he was playing uh, he was playing in a position or in a system that didn't allow that wasn't letting him be pragmatic. It was letting him be expressive. You bring Tariq Glamte or whatever, if they say he had to whatever, fine, or do it all day, they go bring Ali do say do. And I I don't know what he's trying to do. You have Nicaragua, so whatever the country is called. Play some stronger eleven that is going to be able to facilitate the the skills and the abilities of Inyaki Williams or Kudus. So to them with two combined better, then give some lines like show some identity. How is a team like Nicaragua who does not who people don't really know you having an identity and you don't like how you get Kudus then things then they play board then Nicaragua they show you say themselves get identity past you. People are saying, oh, it's, we just brought the team together. We just did. We just that. We just did. Yeah, we just did all of that. But if you're not playing the 11 that you need to play and don't, you're not consistent with the lineups, and then let's, you know, say, oh, I do 68 minutes. Me, you, we, in a way, Abba. So say, if you support this and do that. If you're not doing that, then you bring people in um, 83rd minutes. Uh, you bring people in 83rd minutes. That people that you've called from their, from their club teams, and then you bring them in 83rd minutes to come and play. What have you done? Nothing. Um, someone was saying, I feel about it. Or by inside 30 seconds. Yapon. Miyashi Okra. Ninai Kabo was saying. Yapon game. You understand? And you're, you're doing all these kind of things and you're not playing some certain players and I don't understand. Um, Kamal Din Suleimana then. All these people. You play them. Last last game against Brazil. Ukomo Kamal Din or right wing. Uh, right wing. Just to accommodate Jordan on the left. We... Meanwhile, you could have played him on his natural left wing and then played a right winger that you, you had right wingers there. More right wing and enough far left wing and all, but I said we introduced uh, Ayu brothers at all costs. So you have to put you have to put them in. One ball three back, and then you were able to stop the, the bleeding that you were bleeding in defense when Brazil was playing, even though they, they dropped the thing down a notch, but you stopped the bleeding playing the three back. It showed you say that three back uh, partnership no, is good. Jiku Prakra, there's Joseph Edu, there's Stefan Ambrosio. So what can we form in Ababe? Go on the job with bench. Then you're still playing the same old players. Ali you say to pick up a yellow card. You're still you're still playing him there. Meanwhile, he was getting overrun. What what else? Yeah. So it, it's it's not just about the uh, players. No, they don't know the team. Oh. It's about you, the coaching staff now, And then you change some things. Maybe you're not one fan. It'd be like right here, right now. About why 
Not one. We never do win anything again. Take off. If this be one a grassroots coach, and then maybe we need because we nothing on 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 show. He's not showing any tactical muscle or tactical mem. Not, nothing like he's not showing anything. Pursue to know Ohono. They should let him take over as much as I love Otuado, but this is not this is not the job for him. He shouldn't be doing this, especially if he's a part time. Um, a part time coach. It is stress. It is stress. My life. Like I, I know. I know for the thing. And at the end of the day, we know Jordan Ayew is going to start. That's we will rant and rant and rant and rant. And Jordan Ayew is going to start. Yeah, the day Ayew, he has to facilitate a way to put in the day Ayew because of a captain. On us, I know I have a jam band. On my side, no, I'm going to show up. On my side, yeah, it's it's, it's the truth. Could you can you tell me one performance? One performance you can you can remember from the day are you in the last three games Ghana has played. Can you remember even one one good performance? <laughs> one good performance yeah. the day are you has played. Like oh, yeah, the last yeah, three yeah, games. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you see, you can't even tell who has played what. Kudus they play game better. People would say Kudus know the pass ball. Kudus know the pass ball sometimes. Yeah, this today he was very wasteful. But I'll tell you, uh, if you also look at it, Kudus know the pass ball sick of nobody they support. Obenya born instead of saying I'm out for best support or something, and then they are all I don't know what kind of strategy they are playing. But if somebody like Kudus has gotten the ball or whatever, you know you need to find space for him to find you. Now on your ball, I know Biaj now. Um they dropped the video of Kamal Dean. He he dribbled past like four players or something. Now players in Ghana players in Omujan no motion. Like I don't know. So Omujin said PlayStation or Mubo. Omujan no Moshe uh Omoshe Kamal Dean dribble like three players and they are standing there nobody's giving any support to to run so that a ball can come through or anything they're not standing there they're not doing anything so you as the coach and the technical team and the technical staff you should not say oh um this is how our players are this is the profile of our players we need to maximize each each player's um, potential to help the team Chile Muntari, when he he has the great and then then they but they told you oh you are you you have more grit, so drop a bit deeper and then feed the balls into a Samojan or our wingers. That was what Sule Muntari was doing for us. So why are you not letting why are you not trying to why are you not copying some certain things that you Nagasa were Dortmund, one of the best attacking teams in Europe? You are there. Copy what they do there and then put it here and then let them at least maximize whatever potential that they have. But yeah, Australia and Jordan, are you in a day? Are you in a way? And then today's game, Nicaragua, we won the game, but nobody is happy. How many of you are happy about the game that we won? We won a game, but nobody is happy. Everybody is venting because the game was trash. It's Nicaragua. It was trash. We played nonsense. Charlie, hmm, you dear me. It, it, I, I, I think I'll, I'll just I'll just drop the case here, but that, that's, that's how it is, Kodjo. That's how it is right now. The, if the coaching staff has to be changed and then something has to be done about it, then something should be done about it because... We can't keep going on like this with, with the black stuff. We can't keep going on like this, Charlie. So me get me hmm, my three center fit to be that. I don't want I don't want this anybody for your space top. So say anybody will get into trouble. So I mean I'm like this and I rest my case.